After hearing from a local developer, the city of Rock Hill deciding to go back to the drawing board when it comes to impact fees. Developer Warren Norman spoke to the council on behalf of the development community during Monday night city council meeting about those impact fees. Rock Hill started with impact fees in 2003 and no changes have been made since that year, so the council thought it was time to review a possible increase. Impact fees are applied to new growth to help pay for infrastructure for things like water, wastewater, and fire. Norman told the council the proposed impact fee increase, well, they're just too big and would stall growth and new projects. We understand that, that infrastructure has to be paid for. I don't think that that's our point, I mean, or my point. I think, you know, we understand that it's something that, that is a need, and we pay fees now because of that. And if nobody likes paying fees, but we understand that that's part of it. Well, the Rock Hill City Council voted to defer that proposed impact fee increase to a later date. Now, they do not meet in July, but council members say they will review the proposed fees to come up with a plan to make the city and developers happy. Well, the city council did vote Monday night to increase electric, water, and sewer rates. This is effective July 1st. The average customer will see an increase of $2.40 on their utility bill. The breakdown of those increases are listed right there on your screen. And last night, the city council voted in favor of a 3% pay raise for council members, as well as the mayor. Starting in January of 2018, the mayor will be making more than $27,000 a year, and council members will bring home more than $17,000. Every two years, the council reviews its salary and the mayor's salary as well.